the third and the last of the Freedom Chronicles. It's called the Deeds of Captain Wilkins, and all the soldiers ready to finish his final mission: save America. Well, that's a certainly interesting retirement scheme. Let's see how that goes. Shit, because the mouse is a little too uh, sensitive. Just anyway, volume one, Black Sun. Okay, Captain Wilkins. Let's see what your adventure is gonna be. The war against the Nazis was long, but ultimately a failure. Oh, we know it. My war should have ended when the Nazis dropped the big one on Manhattan, my hometown. When the war ended, we were stranded. No one was gonna help us, but we didn't care. We had a job to do. Take out every Nazi we could on our way to the Promised Land. We were fighting a losing battle. Most of us were dead or missing. I'd been on my own for most of the 50s. Then someone got me a message, ordered me back home to Alaska to stop Black Sun. Black Sun stole a sub, set sail for Alaska, found all sorts of experimental tech, along with something called a camp wanderer. Oh, Fit oh, oh. these boots were made for walking and killing. Really? After 20 you can years, kill? I was back in America. I had a mission. It was time to show those Nazis there's still fight left in this old dog. Front door's heavily guarded, and I don't want to make too much noise. Yes. Let's see what these boots can do. How do they try it? I'm very familiar with the boots because I picked them as BJ. So Black Sun, that could be seen as another Star Wars reference, but it, it's, it's not a very obvious one because Black Sun is such a cliche name. Everybody gets to use it. But Black Sun in the Star Wars uh, Legends now expand the universe. I don't know if it's ever, if it's ever gonna be back in canon. I don't know if it's in canon now, but Black Sun is a criminal organization around the time of the Empire. The head of the organization is Prince Shizor, who is a Falian, a cat-like being. Oh shit! They, they, they see me now. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, I just climbed right up to their doorstep. Maybe well, you would be familiar with the Black Sun storyline if you play the game. Uh, what was the Shadow of the... Shadow of the Empire, I think. That's the name of the game. I actually have not played that game. I watched other people play it before, but uh, I've read the novel. Oh, oh shit, the items are different. Wow, didn't know that. And my health is not dropping. Cool. Okay, I guess I should have done this instead of, you know, whatever that was that I just did. I've read I've read the novel of Shadows of the Empire instead of play the game and the plot is very different. You might be surprised to hear that, but the, uh, it was seem that the Shadows of the Empire was a collective effort between a lot of a lot of creators as an official continuation of the Star Wars timeline at least at the time. Okay, he got the BJ's. Axe. So the novel was actually not just the game was all about the Dash Randar, who is a Han Solo esque figure, but the novel was all about uh, Luke, Leia, during the time between Empire Strikes Back and the Return of the Jedi, which means no Han. 
Han Solo at the point was being uh, in was taking a vacation in the carbonite cabinet and he's not even at the Jabba's palace yet he was like transported all around in uh, by Boba Fett and so it was Luke and Leia's mission to intercept him can I take him fuck it I'm just gonna take him Where do you think you're going? Oh, you can't do anything. Oh, shit. You can't do much about me while I'm up here. Oh, ho, ho. right on. This is why you always want to have the high ground. Yes, Star Wars reference. Shit, 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 shit. What is this? These people are not as done as I thought they would, as I hoped they would. But no matter, they have done minimal damage to me. They are a nuisance at best. And the thing about the... Uh, I think Shadow of the Empire was the novel, the game, and also a comic book. I never read the comic book. I don't know what that is about, but they're all they're all called the Shadows of the Empire, and they're all a little bit different. Not a little bit different. They're all very different. They all tackle various aspects of the same event. And the novel apparently was supposed to be the main event, as it was about Luke and Leia and the main party. Let's re read this. The Owl's Note, target located, coded letter from the Owl. Target located, preparing acquisition plan, location, Anchorage Naval Base. Target could strike at any time, prepare for casualties, Owl. Wow, what great poetry. Am I the target? Are they monitoring me? Are they the one who sent that message to this old soldier here? The thing about the Shadow of the Empire novel, the thing that struck the uh, that stuck with me for the longest of time because I have read it like a while back. But the thing I've always remembered very clearly about it is it is how sexual it was. So Prince Shizor, the main bad guy of this saga, not saga, just made this story. He uh, it's described that his species could emanate this hormonal thing and just suddenly uh, any woman of uh, any other species would be instantly smitten by him. And for a while, he also tricked Leia, he used Le this trick on Leia, and it worked. And they were. They came like really close to parking each other until they were stopped pretty rudely by Chewbacca. So, I mean, it's Star Wars. Like anything can happen, right? But just, just to, to think that in Han Solo's absence, Princess Leia uh, almost Felt fucked the cat. It's kind of weird. I had a job to do. But damn, I wanted a goddamn cheeseburger. Oh my god, you and me both, man. Let's keep things simpler.
Where is everyone? Hey, come on so I can see you. I just torched someone. What happened? Multiple targets. Okay, that wasn't such a hot idea, it turns out. I had a job to do. You shouldn't. Damn, well, you shouldn't really over. mistake me for an expert on all things Star Wars, to be honest with you. I'm uh, uh, in route to reading all Star Wars novels ever published, which is really ambitious but unrealistic, so. I'm excluding all junior novels, but then even then my uh, progress is very slow. It's taken me years and I've only uh, advanced to uh, 1999. I think the one I'm currently reading is uh, Icer's Revenge. So there are just too goddamn many of them. I think I'm close to reaching the prequel era. But even if, if I ever reach the prequel era, it's gonna be a whole other endeavor because there's so many of them. Oh, this is pretty cool. The fan is cutting up my laser and it's... Instead of a continuous beam, it's turning it into this... A machine gun type of beam. This is really awesome. But unrealistic because no... No, no fucking fan can possibly withstand this. Safely hiding here. Whoa, they realized they can shoot me back from here. Hey, 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 come back, come back, come back. Where are you guys going? At this point, I really can't come down until I've exhausted all the ammo of this thing. Right. Uh, how many do you think are still down there? One at a time, one at a time. Oh, 
ship. There are way more of them than I thought. I don't I don't think it's a good idea to come down like this. I know this is dragging on. I'm still looking forward to reading all the rest of the Star Wars novels. Uh, I think at my progress I will be entering the prequel era of materials pretty soon and I've, and concurrently there will be the new Jedi Order series which I think is going to be the Yuuzhan and Vong story. Now that's a tale I've been hearing about for more than a decade but have never personally encountered. Up to this point, my impression of the expanded universe is kind of still somewhere at interesting, really good fan fiction, <laughs> if you know what I mean. They were so uneven. But I guess Star Wars is uneven, however you look at it. Whether we're talking about movies, books, video games. I don't know about the comic books. Well, speaking of Star Wars, the recent news have been encouraging. The Mandalorian looks great. Rise of Skywalker trailer looks really cool. And also got news about the Obi-Wan series, the Cassian Endor series, which I'm not looking forward to that much, but that could actually has a lot of potential. Oh, now you're giving me action music. There's anything I learned is that I can't just stay in one place. Is there no one to oppose my will? Well, might as well. Oh shit. Well, what I do to piss you off? Come to Papa. 
How does he still have full ammo after he shoots at me? Does he have instant, uh, infinite laser energy in that suit of his? Look at that. Also, yes, definitely want this little pistol. It's really powerful. Public notice, avoid the Butzerman. Warning to all citizens in the Asian territories. The terrorist known as the Butzerman <clears throat> Sorry, it is believed to be still at large. This notorious terrorist is extremely dangerous and must be avoided at all costs. Target is an older man masquerading as an Aryan. Be cautious of any strange or unknown people and report them to the authorities immediately. Do not attempt to capture the target. Doing so will threaten the lives of you, your family, and the people of the German Empire. Contact authorities immediately. By working together, we can stomp out terrorism. Okay. Yeah, let's work together to stop terrorism. Oh, wait, they're talking about me. I'm flattered that they're so threatened by me. I'm just a, a senior s citizen. Terrorism is more like a hobby. So am I somewhere in Asia? I thought this is about he was supposed to be called back to Alaska. This is the ghost fleet rumor, debunked. After years of speculation, the mystery of the ghost fleet has been solved. Authorities revealed that a ghost fleet was sunk during an unexpected storm in the Okhotsk Sea and caused the death of hundreds of noble German soldiers. While it was believed the storm was not nearly strong enough to sink an entire fleet, German officials confirmed that line of thought was spread by communist terrorists looking to discredit the German presence in the Russian territories. German officials also claim that any rumors about a Butzerman are completely false and say the terrorist never existed and is also communist propaganda. Oh, I wouldn't be too sure about that. When asked why an official statement was issued before, why no official statement was issued before, officials state that doing so would compromise the efforts in the region. Yeah, it sounds legit. Yeah, why would anyone question that? I was almost out, but I couldn't leave any loose ends. Whoever ran this base was close, and they needed to die. Damn, this is too dark. Can, can someone turn on the light? Damn, I'm hitting on walls. Ja, Herr General, die Planung für die Feier läuft ohne Probleme. Keine Komplikationen, keine terroristischen Aktivitäten. Diese Feier muss absolut perfekt sein. Was? Oh shit. Just just another nicht so laut, Sie Idioten. You know what? This is just another reason to start shooting people. Oh, he's dead. I was wondering how he could still be alive. Come on, mobilize. It's okay, I can see you from this side of things too. Shit. 
kind of tell the game. It, this is not the game's intention for me to stay in the air duct because the shooting mechanic in the air duct is very weird. I don't think I can shoot at them. Not really. But they seem to be able to shoot at me. Oh, my health is dipping. Why is that? I mean, the health has been a source of puzzle to me for, for some time now. Okay. Can't stay there forever. Oh, go. Oh, rat. Yeah, take that and that and that and that. It takes a lot of bullets to kill one person, but shit. guy kind of took a lot out of me he's the smart one you see he's he's like me just holds up in one secure spot and takes out whoever comes into his screen it's just unlucky for him that I have it that an extra health meter otherwise I would have died so yeah the respect I wonder whether if there's anything in these chests, but no way. If I was going to find anything on Black Sun in this base, it'd be in here. Oh, the somewhere. big book that says classified. A party on a sub. Of course. Marking from the Kodiak Islands. Looks like I've got my next target. This is usually where some big robot drops in from the sky and ruins my day. Take the elevator. Okay, elevator. Where's the elevator? Are you the elevator? No, I didn't think so. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Fuck me. Where did he come from?
so there's no additional squad coming onto me. What is he? Just a loose end? Where has he been hiding? How can AI in this game be so dumb and so clever at the same time? Anyway. Need to find a way upstairs. Oh, look at this. I'm upstairs. Hey, you fucking Nazis enjoying life, aren't we? And a burger. Oh, this is everything. This is life. Let's check opposite side first. What does this say? Anchorage, a city on the rise! Local business owners are buzzing after seeing record profits from the construction of the Anchorage Naval Base. I had no idea life could be this good, said the Joshua Wellman, owner of Wellman Butcher Butchery and a Sausage. At first I was worried about the Germans coming in, but I've done more business in the past week than I have in the past five years. Wellman is only one of the many proprietors that are profiting alongside the construction of the Naval Base. As all business owners in downtown Anchorage are reporting similar success. Everyone in town is gearing up for what looks to be the biggest windfall in Anchorage ever as famed General Wolfgang Schwartz and his famous luxury U-boat are reportedly landing in the area soon. Yeah, I think that's it. Let's go back to the office, the command room, whatever, and shoot some pools. Nope, not an option. <clears throat> Can't go to the toilet either. Fucking Nazis, they don't even mark the uh, male or female in the office. What the fuck? I mean... You got two bathrooms, so obviously there's one for each. But you don't mark them. This is how you know they are true evil. An alle, die Vorbereitungen sind abgeschlossen. Sammeln Sie sich für die Abfahrt zur Kodiak Basis im Lasterdepot. Vielen Dank. Everyone was gathering in one place. Sounded like a party. A party this old man was gonna crash. Sounds good. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Come on, shoot better. That's everybody. You know, with this many people with BJ's 
ability to kill Nazis on Mars. How did you guys ever lose? <sighs> Whoever put that just like that on the table is a real Nazi. Oh no, oh no. That was not really a fair fight, was it? Try this again. High ground, high ground, high ground. Oh, yes. Whoa! That does not happen every day. <laughs> I'm so glad I got that on camera. Now where's the party? I want a party! I haven't got laid in years! Decades! Ever! Give it to me to make every, every hero a perv. Oh crap. Where am I supposed to go anyway? Maybe I'm mm hmm. Is this really the way? Oh, I bet this is the way. Ow. I didn't know you could actually see through windows. Come and get me. Oh, shit, puppy. Well, that was a little bit harsh. But you made me do it. See what you made me do? They just fucking nonsense to bring out the worst in you. Come on up, let's have a conversation. I hear a robot. Oh shit. Okay, I'm gonna temporarily drop you so I can address certain problems. Okay. Big 
big guy is coming. I can feel it. Where is he? Well, he's speeding to God knows where. I'll deal with him if he ever actually comes here. Chill the fuck out, you guys. I killed him by shooting at his ankle really hard. Jesus Christ. Jesus, where is he? I'm not actually looking for Jesus, I mean... Where the hell was he? Did you see him? I didn't see him. It was really dark though. Oh, bullshit! I gotta start here? Wait. You don't think this is a little too long ago? Hey! to do now don't we uh, we know what the problem is we have the perfect solution ready for it we well, gotta manually save that's the solution what did you think it was gonna be something really strategic don't you know me Save again, just because we can. I mean, if we can manually save at any point in our real life, we would do that all the time. Oh, bad way to go. And he disintegrated. Same goddamn situation again. Who's shooting rockies at me? That's what killed me last time. Oh, there's, there's the guy. So maybe it was the robot, I just didn't see him. Can I shoot at him? I mean, if he can shoot at me, it's only fair that I can shoot at him too. Ah, you know what? I'm not gonna risk wasting the bullets. Uh, just gonna deal with this old fashioned way.
Is he coming up? Is he finally growing some balls and come up to confront me? Crap! Crap! It's a trap! Uh, anyway, I can do this as from somewhere else, please. You fuckers. Oh no, more puppy. No, I not really can come down there. There's a pup. Oh! I was just thinking about you! See you there. You absolute asshole. Yeah, you can't affect me from there. But I bet I can shoot you. Oh wait, he can't affect me from there. Actually I'm kinda dying. Well shit. So much for bragging rights. Oh I think he's dead. There's another one! Isn't that just uh, amazing? That do anything? Great. Oh boy. What about the What about the laser ones? Do you have the laser one? Uh-huh. What's the other half? I prefer the lasers. Well, now everyone is dead and I don't know what to do. Why didn't nobody try to... Oh, yeah, because I was never in a position to use that. What do you think Batman would do if all his arch-villains are gone? What does he do with Felt his life? Good, knowing there were that many less Nazis on American soil. The rest were heading for the Kodiak Islands. I was gonna tag along. Why not? My first mission back in America was successful. Base was cleared out. Or so I thought. Engineer, now! I slipped up. Left enough of them alive to get the jump on me. I was counting how many I could take down before they got me. Then, a miracle happened. Final warning! Hey, All the Nazis were struck down, as if by divine providence. Hey, Jerry. Looks like you got my letter. You son of a bitch. To my surprise, standing right in front of me was Clive Cross, my second-in-command. And a woman 
I'd never seen before. <laughs> I knew I'd see your ugly mug again. It's been a long time, Jerry. Have I got a story for you? You ever heard of the sun gun? Yes, the sun gun again. Back from the Gunslinger Joe storyline. Okay, that's a uh, volume one of the uh, Captain Wilkins story, The Black Sun. Well, that was pretty fun. It's it's about as fun as the rest of the Freedom Chronicles, I would say, and that means it's a little, it's good, but it's a little bit of a same old. We'll see if anything uh, drastic happens in volume two and three next time. So thank you for watching. See you again.